There are two kinds of medium class ships in the Elite Universe. The ones that are ludicrously expensive for the new player, starting at the 40 million plus mark. And one very good cheap one. And this is it. The Alliance Chieftain. It costs 19 million credits. And from front to back, it just looks epic. How any other ship is called the dropship and not this is astounding to me. Look at it! From the side, it looks like a proper classic science fiction troop transport. That design screams for atmospheric landings. From the front though, it looks like an insect that's attached itself to your ankle. With a hump like that, I'd expect it to be ringing the bells of a church somewhere. And since it was designed by Lacon, you'd think the Chieftain looks like it was made to transport things. And you'd be wrong. This ship is not a troop transport, or a cargo hauler, and it is definitively not an explorer. No, this ship here isn't devoted to carrying anything but death and hellfire. Sweet, glorious hellfire. Right off the bat, there are six hard points on this beast. Two large, one medium, and three small. And the mounting placement is fantastic. Having these four hard points firing center mass makes fixed mounts more viable, and that means a little more kick to your damage output. High speed and agility means you can wedge yourself firmly up the tailpipe of whatever you're shooting at without issue, and there are only a handful of ships that'll be able to outmaneuver you on the turns. And in case it wasn't obvious enough this ship was meant for combat, three of the nine internal slots are devoted to military-only reinforcement packages. Which really makes you wonder why. Why not just raise the armor another 600 points and leave a slot left over for module reinforcement? Is anybody really going to try to put shield reinforcements on this? This ship was designed to do one thing very, very well. And that's a problem for me. Buying into the ship is at least passively buying into the narrative of its intended use. That this ship was specifically designed to fight against Thargoids. And it was. Narratively, the Alliance commissioned Lacon to design three ships as part of its anti-Thargoid effort. So Lacon designed one ship instead, and this was the best result. It's designed to equip the maximum allowed number of AX weaponry. Its utility slots are supposed to accommodate remote flak launchers and decontamination limpets. Its mobility is purpose-built to counteract the agility of Thargoid swarms and interceptors. And I just couldn't possibly care about any of that. Which is a shame because I really like this ship. It's a cheap and nimble tricky frigate designed to blow stuff up especially well. Coming face to face with one of these things in the wild gives legitimate pause. And it should. The Chieftain is a devastating machine in the right hands. More than capable of taking down large class ships without a scratch. And I know this seems like a small issue. A few of Elite's ships are hilariously mispurposed. The Cutter is a wonderful mining ship. The Orca is a delightful long-haul explorer. And it can be fun to think that you've co-opted a purpose-driven ship for something else entirely. But there's no joy for me in misusing this ship. I'm just blowing up the wrong thing. I don't want a ship with a higher calling. I just want the ship. This ship. This consistently surprising ship. And this is a Lacon. Lacon make cargo haulers. And the Asp. Where the hell did this thing even come from? This is the ship I would use to hunt down other Lacon ships and steal all their stuff. If you told me that a covert, shadowy part of the Alliance broke off to become privateers, stealing from the Imperials and the Federation, and they were the ones that commissioned the Chieftain from Lacon, I'd love it. You could watch me become an Alliance person overnight. Because as it is, it's a fantastic ship with a nasty aftertaste. It's like Natalie Dormer leaned in to kiss you, but then suddenly whispering, I used to be a dude. I mean, it's probably not going to stop me, but it's going to take me a moment. On paper, the chief rival to this ship is the Federal Assault Ship. They're roughly the same price, same agility, same two large hard points. But the Assault Ship has more shields, more armor, and a faster boost speed. But in a one-on-one -on -one fight... I'd rather have this. More to the point, I have never seen a Federal Assault Ship take down a Chieftain. Not once. 
and I can guarantee the one flying the Chieftain is having more fun. And not just because they didn't have to get a Federation rank to buy this ship. It really is a joy to fly this thing. It has the firepower of a ship over twice its price, and the agility of a ship half its size. You feel like you're cheating taking on anything else on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Phenomenal Cosmic Bower! Itty bitty living space! But it's not all perfect. It can be extremely slippery in the corners if you punch the throttle too hard. Which you're gonna do. Repeatedly. At times it feels cheap, like its panels came hot off a 3D printer in a garage somewhere. And the canopy gets blown out more often than a 70s hairdo, especially after the nerf. Maybe don't skimp out on life support on this one. There's some questionable physics going on with the rear nacelle engines, and the shields seem to be made of paper mache. But at the end of the day, there's almost nothing else in its league. And I mean that literally. There's a 25 million credit gap between this and the crate. Almost 38 million to the python. Same thing with the fertilance and the mamba. In fact, if you strictly wanted to stick with combat, your choices are the three versions of this ship, the ASP Scout, or begging the Federal Navy to let you fly something worse. Clearly, there's no real choice here at all. Hail to the Chief. <laughs>